I'd like all of you to meet Shokat Ali. Shokat is an artist. Ever since he was young, he's been drawing beautiful sketches all his life. He has no formal education, and he has a family of seven to support. He has attempted his luck at many different jobs, but he has never been able to hold down a job steadily. Many friends have recommended that why doesn't he pursue his passion as his profession? But Shokat lives in a slum. He doesn't know anyone outside his own community. He doesn't know how to set up a business. And most importantly, he doesn't know where he can find people who would be willing to pay for art. So Shokat needs help. So I'd like you to meet a very important person. His name is John Pierpont Morgan. He's the iconic banker from the 19th century. Shokat needs help from someone like J.P. Morgan. When J.P. Morgan set up his first office in, Man in Manhattan on the Wall Street in the 19th century, there was no sign outside his office. When asked why, he famously responded that the people I want to do business with know where to find me. So Shokat was precisely the kind of guy that J.P. Morgan wanted to keep out of his office. So is it really a coincidence that today there are 1.7 billion people in the world? That's one third of the adult population in the world who does not have access to a simple bank account. Is this a bug in the banking system? Or is it really a feature of the banking system? So let's talk about for a second what banking is. You know, banking is nothing but a grid that moves value from one place to another. So what value does it really move? What value do you, anyone knows what value? Money, right? Banking moves money. And what is money? I'd like to call money nothing but stored energy. So money, in essence, holds in it our ideas, or hard work, and then banking moves this energy, which is a stored energy, from one point to another. So now imagine all the 1.7 billion people, men and women, like Shokat, who are disconnected from this grid. And they are unable to do simple things that you and I take for granted. For instance, ability to make a payment to someone, be it someone within your city, within your country, or be it someone anywhere in the world. These people who are disconnected from the grid pay an exorbitant amount of money to make a simple payment. Ability to save money in a safe place. Most of these people save money in their homes, which gets raided all the time, most of the time actually by their family members, and sometimes by people from outside. Ability to take a small loan, to perhaps acquire an asset, maybe start a small business, but they don't have access to it. Ability to insure themselves against a future emergency that may arise. And if they're lucky, and if they've saved some money, ability to invest it to perhaps grow a nest egg in the future. All of these basic things are denied to these people because they're disconnected from the grid. So I call all of these people collectively as if it is akin to a sleeping giant. 
a giant who has tremendous energy but it's unfulfilled because it's not really connected to the grid. So now we will talk about that there are some interesting things that are beginning to happen over the last one decade. It's called the advent of digital. Today anyone with a smartphone which is connected to the internet has something which is called a digital ID. This digital ID is far more powerful than this physical ID that all of us have been carrying in our pockets for a long, long time. So this digital ID gives you the level playing field regardless if you are Shaukat Ali, regardless if you are JP Morgan, to a world of ideas, to a world of community, education, entertainment, and increasingly to financial services also. The banking system that we have today is built on pricing transactions. Right? So if you want to put money in the system, you have to pay for it. If you want to extract money out of the system, you have to pay for it. If you want to move money within the system, you also have to pay for it. But in the new digital world order, any service that has gained massive scale was not built on priced transactions. So your Facebook likes are all free. The WhatsApp messages that you make are all free. The Skype calls that you make are all free. Heck, even the 50 pictures that many of you have taken on your smartphone since this morning for no reason whatsoever are all absolutely free also. So what if we could build a bank account on the same principles? So we did exactly that. We built a bank account that anyone can open by simply downloading an app. And in, in a matter of minutes, you can open a safe, secure bank account. And when it, once it's open, you can make unlimited free transactions. We like to call this bank account a digital wallet. In a matter of few months, a quarter of a million people have already opened this bank account and have started using it through word of mouth only. So we decided, how about if we gave this bank account to our friend Shaukat Ali? Shaukat loved it. And he came up with an ingenious way to build a business to marry his passion with his profession. So today, people can send Shaukat their pictures on WhatsApp, he draws the sketch and sends it back to them using WhatsApp and he gets paid using the digital wallet. I decided to test it and I sent Shokat my picture using WhatsApp and this is what Shokat sent back to me. And I transferred a thousand rupees from my wallet to his wallet. So now imagine the sleeping giant with its pent-up energy, which is restricted to itself, that represents those 1.7 billion people, like Shokat, men and women, who are disconnected from the grid. Imagine if we could connect them to the global financial grid and make them positive economic contributors the sleeping giant will surely arise. Thank you.